I decided to go into engineering when I was a young boy. I used to watch the original Star Trek series and the uh, engineer, Scotty, was always held in such high regard. I used to take things apart, uh, much to my dad's dismay, <laughs> uh, and had difficulty putting things back together. I, I was curious. I, I wanted to understand why things worked. An electrical engineer is a student of engineering that specializes in the electrical discipline. We have electrical engineers that focus on computers. We have electrical engineers uh, like myself that focus on heavy power systems for uh, manufacturing facilities. We have electrical engineers that focus on communications. They work with networks. SSOE is a uh, consulting engineering firm. We provide solutions for clients that uh, have issues either with their current manufacturing systems or they want to uh, expand production. They come to us with ideas and we uh, try to find the most economical solution to help them do whatever it is they need to do. Well, they're going to be in the uh, existing duct bank. My key responsibility as a uh, project lead engineer is to manage the effort of teams of individuals. Some of those individuals are in our Toledo office and there are individuals in other offices. We have uh, a group right now that's in our office in Mumbai, India, that we're involved with. So what I am expected to do is set the picture for what that team is to execute as part of uh, delivering a project. So I tell them what I want them to do, uh, when I want them to do it, and they figure out the details. They do the work, they send it to me, I review it. Um, if there are clarifications or questions or I think that they're interpreting it incorrectly, I have to get them back on course. This requires shielded cable, VFD cable? Right now we're working with a Chinese client that uh, uh, actually has Chinese engineers here in our Toledo office helping us interpret their design documents. Uh, English is a second language to them and, and most of them are, are very fluent. But the language is only part of, of what the, the challenge that we have. It's the technical aspect of what their documents are trying to convey to us because they don't learn about how to explain technical terms in some of their schooling in English. So having uh, uh, the ability to talk to somebody and, and um, explain things different ways, that's one of the things that I find very exciting uh, as an engineer, that I have multiple ways to explain something to somebody and it's, uh, you can tell when the light comes on and they understand it. I'd suggest that students in middle school and high school that are interested in engineering they should focus on a couple of uh, key areas. I think mathematics would be important. I think uh, communications uh, would be a, a really good one to understand. Mechanical drafting or uh, what I would consider drafting, being able to, to draw a picture, I would think that would be important as well. And then any of those other sciences uh, like uh, chemistry or, or physics. I think those would really help someone that was interested in going into engineering. I never considered myself smart. So math always scared me when I was in school. And when I did finally uh, get into math classes, it was actually in the Navy. I was in the nuclear power program and they were very heavy into math. And what I learned from that is that there are rules on how to do things. What you have to learn is learn the rules. Once you get the rules, it's all pattern recognition. And the more practice you get uh, as part of homework, you get good at recognizing those patterns. And once you recognize the pattern, it's simple. Well, one of the things that uh, we found out is that uh, this plenum right here. Becoming an electrical engineer is a four-year degree and after that degree if it's received from the right college you can uh, pursue what's called licensure, becoming a, a registered engineer. 
Licensure uh, in the state of Ohio requires a four-year degree from a, an accredited college, and you have to sit for a couple exams. First exam is the uh, fundamentals in engineering. That uh, you can take right out of college. Uh, once you pass that exam, you're an engineer in training, and then you have to work under a senior registered engineer for four years, and then you can sit for what's called the principles in engineering or the PE exam. You pass that test, you can then become licensed in the state of Ohio. My job, I think, is the best in the world at times. I enjoy what I do because it's never the same thing. It's different every day that I come in. I, I work with a great bunch of people. We're all trying to do cutting edge things. It's like I get paid to play.